everyone, Explain Flight Sim Expo DCS and Microsoft Flight Simulator. This episode has it all. Another week, another weekly flyby. JRX has updated their Gazelle helicopter for X-Plane. This update is free for those who already have the X-Plane 11 version and includes two variants. The first variant, SA-341B, is based on a military model and features old-school avionics including VHF and UHF military radios with added chatter for an immersive experience. It also includes a functional positioning bearing distance indicator similar to the Nadir on the French variant, which can be programmed with X-Plane FMS flight plans. The second variant, sa 341 R2J is a civilian model with a more modern avionics suit, an upgraded engine and a different body kit. It includes custom-made avionics based on the Garmin and Avidyne real-world family. There is also a fully functional autopilot model and a pop-up tablet that displays either the GNS 530, AVTAB or a services page showing critical flight data. To learn more about a full changelog and where to buy it, please check out the link in the description. Flight Sim Expo is taking place in June in about 100 days. The organization reports an unprecedented level of interest thus far, with the floor plan almost sold out and a record-breaking attendance expected. More than 50 exhibitors have already confirmed their participation, including some big names in the industry. If you are still unsure about your travel plans, please note that there are less than 50 discounted hotel rooms available. You can find all the information about travel discounts on the official website. I will be attending the event and even doing a presentation so if you see me around, feel free to say hi. If you haven't attended one of these events before, I highly recommend that you do. It's a fantastic opportunity to meet like-minded members of the community, connect with industry leaders and have a lot of fun. Please check in the video description for the full press release and all the relevant information on the event. MAD campaigns are back, and this time the AH-64 The Apache takes center stage. And there's more, now you can play it in multiplayer too. Stone Sky's DCS MAD AH-64 D campaign puts you in the role of a United Arab Emirates Air Force pilot who must complete the campaign and survive, but you don't have to do it alone. The entire campaign can be played in multi-crew mode, but both players will need to purchase the campaign. Please note that this campaign requires the AH-64D and the Persian Gulf map. To learn more about the campaign, and purchase it, please check out the link in the description for more details. Austria is a breathtaking destination for virtual helicopter pilots seeking to simulate a variety of operations. HR Simyard has recently released two Austrian heliports for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Limo Oscar India Mike, also known as Heli 3, situated near the small airfield of Kufstein Lamkampfen in Tyrol. Limo Oscar Mike Romeo is located in the heart of the southern county of Carinthia. These may be small scenery packs, but they are situated in incredible locations, making them ideal bases for emergency medical services operations in Austria. To learn more about these heliports, please check out the video description. Missed out on previous news? Don't worry, we've got you covered with a playlist of all the weekly flyby videos. Check it out to catch up on anything interesting you might have missed in the previous weeks. I will be back with more in the next video. Until then, take care and fly safe. <laughs>